have shut the Ekiti State House of Assembly complex just 24 hours after the lawmakers elected a new speaker. Is it coincidence that that is happening? But the police are saying that uh, uh, the Two China Salvation and the action is connected to an intelligence report of a possible attack on the hallowed chamber by criminal elements. And uh, we have on the line, telephone now joining us, the new speaker of the AKT State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Buega Aribi Shogun. Thank you so much, Honorable, for joining us tonight. Give us a sense, uh, because the word on the street is that this is perhaps connected to your election as the new speaker of the AKT State House of Assembly. There are those who do not want you in that seat. Hello. Hello, can you hear me, Speaker? Yes, I'm hearing you. Oh, I'm great. You. So can the question I asked you. was that, I mean, is it just coincidence that uh, you were elected 24 hours later, the police got an intelligence report that there might be some uh, violence against the, uh, the legislative arm in Ekiti State. And the word on the street is perhaps there are those who do not, who are not happy with your election as the new speaker of the Ekiti State House of Assembly. Uh, what is behind this? Are you worried that some people don't want you in that seat? I am not worried. Chill. I am not worried because it was a popular demand by all members of the Ekiti State House of Assembly. So the idea of whether I'm worried does not arise at all. So you, you were elected by 15 members. 10 voted against you. 10 voted uh, for uh, Honorable Adeluba. Now, are you, when you say that all members, not all members voted for you, just 15, there are probably a majority that have voted for you. Uh, could this also be linked to what, how the House has been divided in this election? Well, I don't think the house is divided because shortly after when we had the elections, all members converged at the parliamentary room where we discussed other issues as pertaining to the progress of the assembly. We all agree that the election will take place because going by our standing order in the House for Assembly, Wherever there is a vacancy and there is the need for ch to choose another leader of the House, particularly the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker, the Constitution under Section 92 prescribes that election must be held in order to fill those vacant positions. So we follow the Constitution going by Section 92, and at the same time, the standing rule on under 2 Rule 10. So, what happened at, at the Hallow Chamber has nothing to do with whatever the police is saying now. Because, one, when I was about going to the office this morning, what happened was that I met some officers at the gate of the, at the entrance gate of the assembly. And I inquire from the duty officer who happens to be a police officer that what happened, and that he got instruction that there was uh, an intelligent report that some people are coming to attack the assembly company. I immediately called the commissioner of police, and the number was not going. Uh, and I was about, you know, taking another decision by calling the, the, the state, uh, you know, the director of uh, the state security services. But I you know, had to call down the principal officers of the assembly so that we can go and meet the commissioner of police to inquire what really informed that. Because I was not informed at all. I was not informed at all that something like that is happening. And uh, have, if, have you consulted with the governor? Obviously, I've sent uh, messages to the governor almost immediately because the governor was at that time, was not in, in this state. So all we were just told by the police was that they had the intelligence report that they, there are some hoodlums coming to attack the place and that they should vacate the entire complex so that uh, they can comb uh, the entire premises, whether there are ammunitions and whatever there. 
And uh, when we eventually met the, the commissioner of police, what he told us was that they have credible evidence to show that the, the, the hoodlums are coming to our target and that we should give them few hours, only few hours, you know, to investigate and at the end of the day, they will come back, you know, for, you know, they will come back. So have they, have they come table. back to you and what are they up telling the you? Up, up, what are the hopes of getting it. back to the assembly? When do you hope to go back to sit in? You have not even well, the fully what, functioned what the, as a speaker for a, a what, full day. What the, what the, what the, the CP told us was that uh, they are going to conduct the investigation in a few hours and that before the end of work today, they will inform the speaker, that is myself, that uh, we should you know, resume duty tomorrow. So we are still waiting for the information. So uh, I think the police to be asked why, whether they have concluded the investigation so that... So can, you don't... You know? uh, speaker, you don't know when you are going back to uh, to the Assembly for, for legislative sitting? We only have four or five hours to conduct the investigation, and we are resuming tomorrow morning. And I address all honorable members and uh, the staff of the Assembly that he said they wanted to bring in some bump experts expert to look at the, the premises of the Assembly which I now said, well, with what they have said, let us, for the safety of the staff and the members, that they should vacate for three or four hours. All right. Only for them to still not tell us, as I'm speaking with you, that uh, uh, they have concluded the information, the, the investigation. Uh, and you don't, do you think that this is political in nature? Does it have a political undertone from what you see? Until, until the police say something otherwise, I won't, I won't, I won't impugn any political political uh, information. All right, Honorable, uh, right, Honorable Gwega Arabi Shogun is the speaker of the Ikiti State House of Assembly. Thank you so much, Honorable, for giving Thank us uh, that Thank insight you. into what is happening in your state. Thank you. Well,